time discount? How much money is that? Then Tyler would be like, here I am. on this video if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe and smash that little notification button i'm out here with two good buddies of mine we paddle in on a canoe we're gonna go ahead and start setting up camp so stick with me this is gonna be a good one Alps Outdoors. Uh, this is the bag courtesy of Steven over at Hiking Deep. I got it from him. Awesome guy, awesome channel. Definitely check him out. Uh, so all right, let's start off by taking out the hammock. I brought my huge tarp in case it rains. And uh, I'll be trying out, it's another emu hammock. This one's a double, a double wide emu hammock. So I'm, uh, I saw this, I picked it up and I'll be trying this out because Let's see, you know, what happens. All right, as you guys can see, as I said, we're right here about uh, chest high is where you want to put these, these straps at. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set 
put this one up. This work going off the glass strap, but I really don't want to. I'm gonna go down further down. That'll work. I'll bring this in right up here. Sit on here and test it, make sure everything looks good. Oh yeah. That's that's the spot. Yeah, nice little bit of distance on the ground. So, I like it. All right, you guys, we got the hammock set up. Now we gotta set up the tarp in case it rains tonight. And then uh, my part of the camp will be done. So. It's close or what? Yeah, it's close. All right, you guys, take this out. And like I said, this all this fits right up in there in this little stuff snack. And it actually acts as a uh, a little pocket to put a drink in or, you know, whatever you're feeling. Whatever your cup of tea is. So, from right here, I'm just eyeballing it, guys. I'm going to put that one about yay right there. And as you can tell, that's nowhere near. I mean, I can make this work going off this last strap but I really don't want to so I'm gonna go down further down like I said this is a new hammock I haven't set this up yet this one's quite bigger than the other ones I have so uh, maybe a few more down I think if we go about right here that'll work I bring this in right over here and we're gonna connect this one like that, and voila, we have our hammock. Now, always got to sit on here and test it, make sure everything works good. Oh yeah, that's, that's the spot. We got a nice little bit of distance on from the ground. So, I like it.
Alright you guys, so today I'm going to be setting up my tarp and I'll show you exactly how I set it up and why I set it up. So here we go, let's set this up. I watched this show. I watched this one show where they talked about. They never found him in the box. I think it's called 
sighting or abduction or whatever it was. And he, he found him like a couple years later. He was All right, you guys. So today I'm going to be setting up my tarp and I'll show you exactly how I set it up and why I set it up. So here we go. Let's set this up. So, I'm going to run some paracord up through here, and uh, bring this over. I'm just doing a simple knot, guys. Nothing fancy with this, and I want this probably a good three, four feet above me. And uh, I'm going to be taking off uh, plenty of extra. And I'm using my new OKC knife. It's a nice little folder knife. simple knot and we want this knot directly in line with the uh, the tree strap so it's directly above and we're centered over our hammock and then uh, I'm gonna take my paracord and we're gonna go do the same thing on the other side more than I I need really? again is that on the yeah it's a uh, And now that we got this up, I need to tighten it. So in order to do that, that simple knot that I was telling you guys, I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up. And I'll show you why so we can tighten this up. And that way we can get a perfect, nice tight tarp above us. For one, we don't want that sitting, uh, sitting right on top of us. So, uh, that's one reason why we're going to tighten this knot up. But obviously for another one, in case it rains, the way I have my tarp set up is that the rain can go off to the sides and it won't sit on this. Because if I leave it just like this, how loose it is, the water's going to collect right in the middle. And that's something we don't want. So now, bring this up just like this. There we go. And now, 
we're gonna take our sides. I'm going to take this side and bring this out. Alright, so that side's down. We're gonna take another one just like that. So as you guys can see, I've got it tight on top, so if it does rain, the water is actually gonna run directly down here and it's gonna stay away from my feet and underneath the hammock and keep my whole side fairly fairly dry. So that is the purpose behind the tarp setup using the two corners. I don't know the exact name of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it the, the two corner. So I'm doing the uh, Canadian slip, slip knot, slip jam, Canadian jam knot. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna put this one over, under, over. Just like that. Stick this side through. I'll bring this one out. In the ground and voila guys here we are that way as you guys can tell we're completely covered we're completely covered from the materials from the rain or anything like that and all we gotta do is just make sure to just do some final adjustments just like that, and we are all good. All right, so that's how we, uh, that's how I set up my two corner hammock. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember, stick with me.
just my voice, not like my picture of me or whatever, you know. Right. Yeah, just do a voice over it. That's what it's called. But I don't know how to do none of that editing shit, so I'll have to have Tyler do that. Yeah, we're gonna get internet here shortly. I'm gonna get a computer. I'm gonna start doing something. I kind of want to make memes and stuff. Memes and memes. All right, right side down. Be a DJ. Just like that. I know a guy. So as you guys can see, I've like got. Oh, it's tight on top, so if it does rain, the water is actually going to run directly down here, and it's yeah, going to stay away from my feet and underneath the hammock. I think you can get my whole side. You're good at like it's really, it's really dry. I already got a bunch of uh, clips picked out in my head. That, that is the purpose behind if I did do it. the tarp oh, set up yeah. using the two corners. I, I, know I don't know the exact fact name of it. Audio that I could I'm just going to go ahead and call it two corner. You know what I found that the, was the lame about this DJ that was at my house this last week or the week before? So I'm doing he didn't have no lights up, like no lasers or anything, up. smoke machine, none of that. Now the DJ and I hired for my wedding, and that guy was fucking and, uh, lit. Smoke machine, fucking laser shit up. Everything. Yeah, big on life. Yeah, I mean, everybody wants to see that shit. I, I, for my weapons, I have every single best weapon like Expensive buying all those guns? I have like a thousand dollars alone just in lights. I got more lights than I even have guns. What kind of lights will you use if you go for them? Uh, I don't know. Infrared, night vision. Yeah, see, I'd like to get a camera set up that has a like a, a really bright, good quality light. But all the the research I did that everybody tells me to use a blue light, like a, a blue light, because for ghosts? for ghosts or for anything, when you're walking in the woods, because it shows the camera will sh uh, pick up the blue light as brighter than a regular, regular light. Huh. Makes sense, but they, I don't think it makes too many fucking blue flashlights unless you get like lenses and stuff. I guess you know. I got a UV black light that's probably about this long that I use at work. Picked a bunch of LEDs. Here we black are. light LED. That way. All right, you guys. I got the GoPro footage, but just in case I don't come out, I'm gonna show you why I have my hammock set up the way I do. I have what I call a two-corner setup. I use one corner from each side of the hammock. And I have that set up because it's a nice, it, it's a, you get more distance covered over where you're going to be sleeping and it helps for the rain. So I have it nice and tight all the way across, as you guys can see, and if the water hits it, it's going to run down. It's going to run down pretty, pretty far away from where I'll be sleeping. So I won't wake up and step in a bunch of wet, wet spots. And I'll show you guys over here. I got plenty of room. It's nice that it's all nice up and sitting high it, the the hammock's not gonna you know uh, drape over me and uh, this is also really good I'll actually in the winter time I'll keep this a lot lower than what I have it now so it'll help keep the uh, the body heat in so that's the uh, that's the setup guys uh, hopefully you guys learned something hopefully I explained it to you pretty good uh, and also you know I have, an, I have plenty of space to put my uh my stuff over here on the side and keep it dry in case it does rain like my camera and my hiking bag and all that other good stuff so it's been a minute i've been wanting to do a camping trip for you guys uh with work and everything else it's been it's been pretty bad i haven't had time to do anything really so i'm out here with two good buddies sean you know him pretty well and then uh my buddy griff so uh there you guys go Stay with me, it's gonna be a good one. All right, you guys, so when I'm out here in the bush, I like to get caught up on some reading. And uh, I definitely recommend the, bat, the Vance Bushcraft, the expert field guide. Uh, this is where I learn a lot of my knowledge when it comes to bushcrafting, which I will be doing a lot more on my channel here soon. Uh, definitely a good book to pick up by Dave Canterbury. Awesome guy. He does the Pathfinder School. 
pretty awesome. I'm out here rocking my new merchandise. This is the Tellerwood Bushcraft shirt. On the back, it says Tellerwood Bushcraft with the big old subscribe button. So my goal is to turn everyone that watches my channel. Uh, I'm using some black and white fire yeah, stars like stuff. Seen something down there that scared the fuck out of him or something. Well, that's weird that because you said that something boosted you up, but something took him down. That's fucking weird. Yeah, I felt like I jumped off the bottom, but they said there was no way that I hit the bottom. It was 14 feet. They said it was 14 foot down that they found him. I don't know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dig into my Hidden Woodsman pouch. Uh, grab out one of my ferro rods. I'm using one of my new ones here. And uh, let's see if we can get this fire going. Just putting some magnesium down. It's like you gained senses through your experience. There we go, guys. You don't have you ever had deja vu? Yeah. And we got a fire going. Let's go ahead and put our twigs on. Like one time, me and my wife, Sarah, were going somewhere. And uh, we, were going, we were going to Colorado to visit my kids. And we went through Wyoming. All right, we got this fire rolling. We got some baked potatoes going on. We're gonna throw some steak on here. And that's gonna be our dinner. Steak steak and baked potatoes with some sour cream. He smoked for a long time. He started smoking when he was smoking the reaper. What are you doing there, Sean? Well, you know, building up my old trusty cabin here out of some uh some nylon right here. Gonna build me up a cabin. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah. In Minnesota, we have to do it that way. You betcha. What's your personal opinion, hammock or tent? All me. Well, you know, I've camped in uh, various spots and various situations. Uh, one time, me and a bud, we uh, saw a wild bear out in the wilderness here, and. Uh, this here tent saved my life more than once. One time I got drunk, they threw me in the old lake over there, and uh, the tent just floats the whole entire time. It's like a big giant water bed. All, right. all you gotta do is untwist it. You all ready for the old one, two on it? You hear it going? Yeah. Undo it all the way. That's weird, dude. Is it broke? No. It's just, it's, all you gotta do is just leave it, throw it in the tent, and it just keeps filling itself up. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Oh, small for him. We got your tent all set up, buddy. Yeah, got my tent, got the old tent. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's sucking in air right now. And it's starting to unfold itself. These things are super comfortable, really nice, easy to pack up. That's the reason why I grab them. You know, I want to try to downsize my gear as much as possible, but still be comfortable out here. And uh, this is actually the way to go. So all you got to do, like I said, just untwist that cap, throw it in there, and kick it, and do whatever you got to do. And it's gonna keep blowing itself up. And remember, always keep your bag. Jeez. All right, we're doing some steak and potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this juicy steak on here. <laughs> 